What rule has your pet instituted in your house that you now follow? When she, my 14 years old grandma Kitty, is constipated, she needs me to watch her poop. She'll do these red deep meows and won't stop till I follow her to the litter box where she sits in the middle and tries to poop. We keep eye contact the entire time, if I look away, she stops trying to poop and does the deep meows again. Her normal meows are very high pitched, so it's easy to tell when she's constipated. Oh wow, she needs your emotional support when she's constipated. Ah, oh sure when a cat does it it's cute, but I get called a creep skeptical smiley face. My wife never wants to make eye contact while either of us are pooping. If I sneeze my cat will meow softly and walk over to me and pat me on my face until I pick him up and tell him don't worry it was only a sneeze. Never hurts to have a cat scan just in case it's something more serious. Dog lovers get a lab test. My cat has a petting space that is strangely close to her food. Oftentimes, if you try to pet her, she'll lead you to the petting space where she'll roll around, act all cute, ask to be combed, until she decides she's done. She'll then promptly go to her bowl and have a snack. She'll also go over to the petting space on her own accord and meow quite loudly. That's her demanding to be petted so she can eat. Your cat has turned you into its appetizer. If my parrot asks what are you doing, anyone in the immediate vicinity must respond with what they're doing. He will throw a tantrum he doesn't get an answer. My cocktail was the same, we taught her how to say back quote good morning back quote and if she announced it was a good morning we'd have to reply or she'd have a fit. She also liked classical music so we'd have to hear classical music for at least an hour a day. She was indeed a lady. Your cocktail sounds pretty impressive for a drink. I know, we knew they could speak, and I was just drinking them, how rude of me. My beetle must go to bed by 10.30 and will stand at the stairs trying to tell us she's tired. If we don't listen, she goes to her room and lays on a bed and goes to sleep. Edit. Also, my beetle understands about 80% of what I say. When it's time to go to bed, she waits until after I lay down. She stays off the bed and won't get on until she has permission. I literally have to say, you can lay down now. I didn't teach her this stuff. She just does it naturally. My mom had a Yorkie like that. When he was ready for bed he would sit in front of her, bark, run halfway up the stairs and bark again. He would do it until she finally went to her room and he would hop in bed and pass out. Our living room recliner chair is our dog's bed at night. If I'm sitting in his chair too late, he'll come over and stare at me. If I still haven't moved, he'll gently put his paw on my knee until I get up and move over to the couch so he can go to bed. One of our cats likes to be the one to wake my stepdaughter up for school every morning. We have a routine. I get up and go to the bathroom, brush my teeth and hair and then go let Kiki into my SD room. She runs to her bed and lays down on top of her, nuzzles around for her face and nibbles on her eyebrows to wake her up. We have to do this every morning. This is so adorable. This thread must be heaven for you. When I was a kid, kid, my my dog slept in the middle of my bed and I slept on the trundle for four years. I mean, more than a quarter of his life was spent comfortably on a bed. What made it stop? She died. We adopted her when she was older, eight or nine, I think. And the first night we got her she was like, this is mine now. My mother's cat was having some health issues. All good now, so I usually stop into her place nowadays in the afternoon if I have time to check on her when my mom is working and feed her. The cat rules appear to be as follows. I must never go to the bathroom alone. The door must be open so she can anxiously watch and ascertain that I won't be swept away by that flashy toilet thing. My my husband is the most wonderful of humans, and she must be given ample time to stare at him adoringly. When I feed her, I must move her dish and feed her by the front door. Everyone else may feed her where she usually eats, but not me, or she will go on a hunger strike. I have no idea how this actually happened, it's just the way it is now. This is not strictly enforced, but she'd prefer I wear the winter coat with the long strings with it so she can bat him around, even if it is springtime and much warmer now. If I'm a good human, I get the best of rewards. Kitty kisses, which consist of pressing her nose up against mine, which is the most adorable thing I may have ever experienced. Believe it or not, usually I'm a dog person, but this cat is pretty alright. Our idiot cat, Potato, is a spoiled princess who won't eat her food unless someone picks her up and gently sets her in front of her bowl. My boyfriend encourages and enables this behavior to the point where now if you put food in her dish she won't even look at it unless she's carried over. One of my cat do the same. I have to put her on top of the fridge and point her where her food is or she won't eat. My brother and mother wanted a dog. My father did not, so we got a dog. A wonderful rescue pup that is parts Red Healer, Kelpie and Dingo. Naturally there is no true love than that of a grumpy man and the dog he said he didn't want. So every day at exactly 4 p.m., my dog lets my dad know that it's time for walkies. So off they trundle to the local dog park where my dog has her little doggy play dates. I have to wait to be picked up after my dog has her walk and play date with her other dog friends. My dog has a better social life than I do. Agreed. My mom wanted a puppy. My dad wanted an older dog. We got the puppy. He complains about the puppy a lot but they cuddle while taking naps together and I hear my dad call him pumpkin or sweetheart. The best friends. If my dog stands in front of you looks back and puts her butt near you you must smack the booty. Oh hey same with my fiance. My cat kicks me out of my bed by 9am whenever I try to sleep in. On weekdays he prompts me to leave my bed by 7am so he can sleep in the bed. A purring alarm clock sounds kinda nice. Mine does this too, except instead of purring he stays just out of reach while meowing incessantly. The moment I'm up there either at the food dish or in the spot I just vacated. My girlfriend's dog has to be let out in the morning to go, and then again 45 minutes later to take a hit. She is incapable of doing them at the same time. Ha ha.
Haha, my dog is like this too. It's a weird. One time I made scrambled eggs and I gave my dog a quarter of an egg worth of it. It was just pure egg, no salt or pepper or anything else. Now every time I make scrambled eggs, my dog just assumes he's getting some and guilts me if I don't. And I usually give in. My mum used to give our dog the last corner of her toast with poached egg on every morning. The day we had to have her put down, she finally got her own serve of toast with poached eggs for breakfast. I'm not crying, it's just raining indoors. Both dogs must have a treat each if they go out the front door and come back inside. Furry dog must have a treat after enduring a bath. Furry dog must have a blob of cream cheese if the human has cream cheese and furry dog must also have the egg scrambling bowl to lick. Humans cannot say the words car ride or outside without immediately providing a car ride or taking dogs outside. I fear they're also learning that honey. Take the canines beyond the portal also means outside. Oh, and six o'clock means dinner time. Furry dog will insist. Even though he won't eat first dinner, ever, he will eat second dinner. Hence the username, eat your damn dinner. A phrase heard repeatedly every single day around 6.05 p.m. Take the canines beyond the portal legit made me laugh. We started saying O-U-T and the little googos learned to spell. So we switched to W and now they understand abbreviations too. I give beyond the portal. Three months. I have to sleep with my back to my BF so the cat can snuggle into my hair while smelling BF's breath. Our dog made us sleep back to back so she could curl up between our butts. Currently happening here. I also want to curl up between your butts. If he doesn't get a drive in the car every day, that's right a drive, not a walk. He sulks. If he knows he is definitely going for a drive, he runs up and down like crazy and body slams you with all of his 55 kilograms. It hurts but his excitement is also so unbelievably cute that you can't stop him. If he gives you the sparkly eyes, you must chase him. Call his name and clap loudly so he can run around like a speed demon. The clapping is mandatory. If there is cheese in the fridge and you open the fridge door, he magically appears and you must give him some. There is a bite toy to play with that changes every day. You must try all 20 toys until you get the right one. I'm not quite sure how I managed to have time to do anything else apart from following his rules but I wouldn't have it any other way. I hear you on the right toy. My 11 year old lad, Pit Mix will destroy the house looking for the right toy ignoring 6 other toys in his path. If you're cooking, you're paying the bird tax. We had a dog, so it was easy. If it hits the floor, it's mine. My best friend's dog thought this wasn't happening fast enough so while my friend was walking with a plate, her dog just headbutted her knee and dove for what fell on the floor. Our cat had surgery for a broken hip so couldn't walk for a few days. We carried him around in a soft bed and put it between our pillows at night so he wasn't left out and we didn't roll on him. The space between the pillows now belongs to him. He also likes to sleep with his head on my pillow. When my dog hears me getting his food ready, he points with his long nose at the place where his bowl goes repeatedly until I put it down. The goodest of boys. What kind of dog? Hungry. When we make Dora our dog her dinner, we have to wait and watch for her to finish. Yes, finish eating else we'll be subjected to her crying in her corner for the rest of the evening, morning, etc. Also, once she's finished eating, she always comes over and thanks us by dropping a leftover chunk of meat in our laps and giving us kisses appealing I know again if we forget to do so she sits in a corner and cries believe it or not this is one of the simplest requests she has but don't blame it my mum's the one who's made her like this other than that though she's such a sweetheart and I love her to bits nonetheless one of my girls Catholic Collie always gives me a thank you lick after she finishes her dinner at least it's only one for you grinning face with sweat I appreciate the love she's trying to share but it's frustratingly adorable most of the time your dog sounds beautiful by the way we call it paying the toll our dog C will instantly steal your spot if you get up to go to the bathroom or something and she won't move until you sufficiently rub the belly so to get your seat back you have to pay the toll no whispering ever my PYR burner mix will make a growling woo sound from the other room if you whisper to someone else or to yourself if you continue to whisper he will come out to admonish you in person no secrets in my house Rick Tucker, but when he, a burner, was still alive, there was no way in a million years I could simply be quiet in the house to use the restroom, or grab a glass of milk, or do just about anything without him jumping from a comatose state of sleep to find out what I was doing. I used to say to him, dude, I'm just peeing, f***ing relax and stay sound asleep. If special note, hardwood floors allowed when a burner does that, wakes up the entire house of people, wakes up the golden, wakes up the deaf and blind and staff. So what he did to me was I held my pee until it was the usual time everyone in the house woke up. That's actually sweet, cause I imagine he was only truly happy when he could hear where you were. Our cat scratches the furniture to go out. Now this is the clever part. She only learned that from my throwing her out for scratching the furniture. All my furniture is in some kind of ruin because my boy scratches everything. His sister uses all the trees, poles and boards that are everywhere but not him. Toll has made me cover everything with several layers of rugs and throws to keep him from shredding it all to hell. When brushing my teeth, I must leave the faucet on while I brush so my cat can drink from the bathroom sink. If I don't, I get screamed at in the form of very loud meows. We had a similar issue and it got so bad that she wouldn't drink out of her regular water dish and we had to buy a kitty fountain. Dogs are allowed on the couch. Cats who roll on the back must get belly rubs. The cat thing sounds like a trap. Be careful. Certain cats like belly rubs, while others don't. I usually only do it if I'm sure a certain cat enjoys them. It's always great if I'm sure a cat likes belly rubs, though. King size bed. By 7am I am getting rolled out of bed by Daxhood. She wants her morning walk. P. S. 
When I fall asleep, SHES on the other end. When I wake up, she has taken control of all the pillows and the bed. My 30 pound cattle dog mix does the same thing. I usually wake up in the morning squished to the side of the bed and buddy is happy as a clam right in the middle. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and share with your friends. See you in the next video.